Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while and I'm going to explain where I've been, what I've been doing and more importantly why there's been no videos brought to you guys. So rather than tell you, I've recorded my journey over the last 18 months or so. Um, have a little look at this. It's November 2020 and for a long time, as many of you know, I've been wanting extra space to work on cars as I only currently have a single garage. Don't want to move house, enjoy where I live, but I'm limited to what I can do. So I started thinking a few months ago, started getting some advice from some um, architects and some builders, and it's been ongoing for the last few months. What I did want to do is utilise this area you're looking at now to build a garage from all the way along here to get that whole area covered but I was told no chance that planning would be permitted for that I was told that maybe to about here planning may be allowed because it then takes it in line with the other houses so the only way to find out is by um, submitting that and seeing so I need to do a bit of measuring, I need to come up with something creative because if I build this here, the current garage is going to be converted into a room for something else. So let's see how long this process actually lasts. I'm going to mark it on the ground here where I want the garage to be and what challenges that brings with it being access to get cars in with this wall here which I don't want to remove. So the most chance I'm told of being accepted for planning permission is to take it to here. Now this basically brings it to the same length as my current garage but a lot wider. But, a couple of issues, size of the garage doors might need to be custom to fit on here and the access for the cars to get in here with the wall here. So this is going to hopefully be main storage for the cars. This wall here I'm hoping to get removed to take it all the way back. It's about 17 feet long by four feet wide, which will give me my sort of work area, which will give me more than enough space for what I can fit in at least. But a lot of ifs and buts. Um, I need to consider whether this may need to come down here slightly at an angle, or if that's even allowed. And um, I've got a lot of things to try and sort out before then. As you can see, the cars, um, they're out in the open and I can't work on them when the weather's like this, so that's my main reason for it, plus security, and um, yeah, stay tuned. Second line drawn in here, along here, is a rough estimate of where it might give better access, so it might be a better option. All you can see are then forfeit in this space here. Around the other side, you can see there's obviously a shed here at the moment that would need to be moved, but it would utilise all this width and all the length. That's assuming the um, planning would get granted and, um, and it's doable. Well, this is going to delay the garage even further. This is February 2021. It's the 6th of March and um, still not really any further forward in the garage extension. So I was hoping to put in a pre-planning inquiry um, and the guy that's doing that for me, the architect, has done drawings. I'm happy with the drawings. Um, he's kind of dragging his feet slightly. I keep chasing him and he's, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And yeah, it's, it's frustrating to say the least. But found out that um, the department in the council that does that is closed because of COVID, like everything else. So, instead of telling that straight away, um, he decided after a couple of weeks to come and tell me because he was waiting on opening. Yeah. So anyway, I've now moved on to the full planning permission, which is the more expensive option, but I just want things to be moved on now. So, as of today, 6th of March, the planning request has went into the council, so now is the nervous time just to sit and wait and see if it gets granted or if it gets refused or if it needs amendments. So, 
I'm told it can take between two or three months normally. I know one previously has taken six weeks in the street, but I don't know how it normally works, um, especially throughout COVID, so I'll just have to wait and see. And um, the next part you see will be another update further forward. I wish I could jump through the video like um, <laughs> like you guys because it's really dragging on and frustrating and until I get planning permission I can't start really looking at what finances and what stuff I need to move from areas to get ready so yeah as soon as I know anything I'll um, keep you updated. A possible plan B. Room 1 extending back for a bedroom and an extended dining area slash gym slash patio. Just an idea. Plan B didn't work. Um, spent a few weeks getting a quote for the work that I had laid out in the, the last clip there. And because of Brexit, because of Covid, various things, the prices of materials have doubled since I got the original quotes. Um, and I just couldn't justify paying that amount of money compared to five months previous. Um, so yep, I had to go back to the drawing board, or well not back to the drawing board, I had to then think, well, what's next? Which brings me to plan C. Yeah, hard decision and one I'm still not 100% sure about, selling the house um, I've brought all my family up in for the last 12 years. Love the area, love the house, um, but it's just too small. Um, not just for the garage purpose, but also the living, it would be nice to have something bigger. So we decided, after a lot of thoughts, to take the plunge, put the house up for sale and look for something else. So now we are in September 2021 and the house has been up for a few weeks now. We've had a look at a few, some are selling really quick at crazy prices, we've missed out on some and others are not what we're looking for so it's going to be a fairly stressful search. This place, as you've seen from that clip, is filled with storage, meaning I can't get anything done to Eleanor while well, this is happening so it's frustrating not being able to get on with the project but I'm trying to think of the longer term goal here so I'll try and keep these updates coming like I say it's going to be quite stressful finding somewhere that's in budget selling this place and that's not even taking account of the whole move inside of it but I'm hoping there's light at the end I am hoping so yeah that's pretty much all the update I've got at the moment pretty um Pretty disappointing in the way things have panned out so far, but like I say, hopefully I'll get there in the end. So, as you can guess from that um, board, the house is sold. Sold in October. Hadn't bought anywhere yet, we'd missed out on a few properties. The housing market's a bit bizarre at the moment, but a few weeks later in October, we managed to negotiate quite a lot of coming to and forth on price to get the property we're actually looking for. So it's November now. Um, I couldn't film for the last month or so because I've been ill. Um, hopefully on the way back to recovery now. But uh, really pleased, really pleased with the property we're going to. I don't want to give away too much at this stage because I don't, I'm quite superstitious with things like that. I don't want to jinx it because there's still a lot can happen between now and then. So we've agreed a moving in date, leaving here and going to the new house of the end of January 2022. So it gives us a few months to start getting things ready, pack in, enjoy Christmas, things like that. Um, I'll show you around here but as you can see the garage is um, mainly in boxes now, I have to sort out a few things, but it's, um, it's quite emotional because I've spent a lot of hours, a lot of time here, and um, as I've said before, I will miss the place, but there's one door, closes and all that, 
and I'm going somewhere bigger so you know I'll have more indoor storage I can bring you guys more videos and yeah so I'll be back soon hopefully with another update and I'll try and keep the images of this place getting cleared up rolling who said moving house was easy? Okay, so the festivities are all over, it's into January, the garden is stripped bare, basically a few weeks until the um, big move. Not been able to do much with the cars to be honest, everything's parked away so it's been a few months before I've even looked at them and I'm missing them, but priorities are not worth it in the end. So, the garage is, um, as you can see, chock-a-block, pretty much like the rest of the house. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed everything goes smoothly between now and then, I know things do happen so touch wood they don't happen but it's taken a lot to get to this stage, um, like I say hopefully it'll be worth it in the end, wee bit to go yet, get the new place set up and uh, new beginnings but yeah, scary and exciting all at the same time so hopefully you'll enjoy this journey and hopefully I'll get some footage of the move on the big day, so um, next time will be moving day. Here I am, in the new house, the new garage, the new era. Um, been in just over a week now, just getting things settled. Did it go smoothly? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but it was a nightmare. There was delays, there was issues, um, all in the past now, and like I say, I'm here. So, really, really happy, really delighted with the place. Um, so much potential, a lot of work to be done to get it up to from a house to a home I guess um, but the garage which we're in just now uh, I've got so many plans for it it's going to take me a bit of time to get stuff in the house sorted and the garage how I wanted it so I'll still not be bringing videos for the next little while but um, as I get more and more prepared the videos will start coming again and I do have some old footage there to show that I've just never had a chance to um, put into a video so they, that will as soon as I have the time um, be coming to you guys so apologies for the lack of videos but as you can see it's it's been a big upheaval um, what I'll do here I'll just give you a tour around as the garage is sitting at the moment um, it's a mess but that will give you an idea of what I'm working with and I'll also show you above my head extra storage I've got here so uh, yeah bear with me a bit longer hopefully you found this um, interesting not a much uh, car content and unfortunately just kind of explaining where I've been and following my journey which will be good for me to look back on I guess in a few years time but apologies if I bored the uh, the life out of you <laughs> um, the car content will be coming again soon so uh, thanks for sticking with me Take care and I'll see you soon.